Hey, hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna film a get ready with me. I'm going to the Jonas Brothers concert tonight. So this is like unusual and I normally wouldn't film this, but I figured it was kind of fun and entertaining. I'm wearing this like pink, kind of, let me stand up. It's like this pink kind of bohemian little shirt from American Eagle and then I'm just wearing leggings because I really want to be comfortable and all that. Also, if you can hear the dog back. <laughs> Did you see that happen? Let's replay that. American Eagle and then I'm just wearing leggings because I really want to be comfortable. <laughs> and she has no shame about it. So we're just going to ignore the fact that all my pillows are now off my bed. <laughs> and we're just going to... We're gonna just do this get ready with me also the only downside about this is these ties are like bananas annoying but that's okay i don't really know what look i'm going for yet i did pull out this palette which if you saw my favorites you know it was in but i put it away for the fall because like i'm not gonna use these colors in the fall but i figured with this look it's kind of different also oh now you're over here so we're just gonna have pillows all over the place Anyway, we're gonna start with primer. So I'm actually gonna be using two primers today, which seems kind of crazy and like absurd, but my face is very oily still, but also my face has been like, I've had like my makeup break up, especially around here. So what I take is a NYX Shine Killer um, because honestly, I need to get more of it, but also I really like this primer. It's not as like, I don't know it's not as drying as some of my other ones but i tend to find it's my makeup still breaks up so kind of just use it along here then i do my eyebrows and then i'm going to take the nars radiance primer and use that on top of it whenever i'm done with my eyebrows so just to let that kind of sink in i don't like to go on one after another it looks a little crazy so that's what we're gonna do I do the eyebrows, which you've seen me do a million times, so I'm just gonna fast forward this part of the video. Okay, my eyebrows are done. So, I you can definitely tell which eyebrow I have more of a problem with, and it's this one. I don't know why. This one has to be difficult, but it has to be. I'm not like, trying to clean up my space. There is like so many things. I have like brushes. I have scrunchies on here. Literally, it's like I can live off my vanity. So I'm actually taking the P. Louise base. I have the shade. 05 or rumor 05 this is a little bit light but they didn't have 01 so it is what it is and i just kind of take a i literally don't take that much and take like that much on the back of my hand and i take a damp beauty blender and use that to kind of Granted, like, it's not the, like, most clean application, but because I don't have makeup underneath, it doesn't really matter. I always do my eyes first because I'm kind of like a mess. So, that's the way it is. I do one eye at a time because otherwise it tends to skip. I don't know if it's just me. I don't, I think it is just me and how I apply makeup, but. So, that's what I do. I'm now going to start working on my eyes. I really don't have a plan for what I want to do, so that's what we're going to do. I haven't really used any of, like, these shades up here. I'm kind of thinking 
But this yellow would be really pretty. I don't know. Maybe. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do those two colors. We'll make a look with it. Figure it out. Oh, I'm going to take the shade Cloudy and just use that as a crease color. Because... need something because I have hooded eyes and so I typically I don't have a lot of eye space between here and here I know some people their eyebrows I don't have a big forehead so I can't like move my eyebrows up so this is the space we get like I can't do anything about it literally my forehead is like I think they're supposed to be four fingers if I put like it's in my hairline so it's like three fingers and actually from the point of my eyebrow it's less than that so now I have blue dream all over my plate all over the place I did order the the new Lunar Beauty uh, palette for the uh, for Halloween, so just be aware of that. I I'm sure I've already gotten it by the time you see this video because I already had a video that is scheduled for next week because it's currently the sixth of October. So just be aware. Okay, that's fine with the crease color. Also, what is wrong with my weather? I swear to you, sometimes my like eye watch goes all funky and it doesn't tell me the weather. So, it is what it is, I guess. I literally have a blue dream all over me. It's funny. I love that shade. However, yes, it is kind of a... I'm trying to think if I want to do a halo eye. I think I want to do a halo eye, so I think we're going to do that. Okay. So, I'm going to take... Hmm. I want to see how I want to do this because I don't know if I want to take like a purpley shade Okay, so I think I'm gonna take Sunset. Yeah Take sunset. I love this palette. Can we just talk about how good it smells? So I'm gonna take that and kind of just start Doing that outer V and that inner V Again, I take it up just slightly Not too much, but I do take it up slightly just so that it shows I do have very hooded eyes. Also, tonight my dad is going with me because my mom is gone on a cruise. And so I am going to the show in December with her, but because originally they didn't have their forum show i and i couldn't because of that i was like okay cool i still want to go even though my mom can't go with me my mom has gone to every jonas brothers concert with me ever this is my sex jonas brothers show um i think i also included nick jonas i saw two of nick jonas so actually it's my eighth <laughs> um oh lord i've seen them a lot so Anyway, with that being said, like, which my mom was really sad, but I was like, I'm not missing the show because you're not here. Like, I love you, but I don't love you that much to skip it. So I opted to go ahead and see it, but then they added their forum show. So I'd already had tickets for the show today, which is at the Honda Center in Anaheim. And I was like, okay, like, whatever, like, we're just going to make it work. And so I ended up getting tickets to both. I'm gonna blend that out so it's not such a harsh line. So I kind of like where that sits right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my concealer brush, which I use the Morphe M421 brush. And I actually take, if I can find it, I take the Revolution Makeup Cut Crease Canvas. And again, I just put some a little bit on my hand. It's all about the hand. It's all about the back of the hand. This is like as crazy. It looks so crazy on camera, but it's really not that bad in real life. So I just kind of take that in the spot where I want most of that pigment to show up. Granted, these are pretty pigmented, but still. I still want a little bit. Okay. So now... I take a flat shader brush, which I'm going to take this, I want to say this is an elf one. Yeah, this is an elf one. And I'm going to take that shade, 
Horizon, which is that nice yellow shade. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take a little tiny pointer brush. I'm blowing that out a little bit, and then I'm gonna take some more of that pink and kind of fill in. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of that shade, Sunset. That's funny, I have Sunset Horizon on. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of blend in that because otherwise it's gonna look a little bit crazy. So I'm probably not going to do lashes just because I tend to find that like for a long period of time, I just like, can't handle them anymore. I used to be able to a lot more, but I just can't anymore. See how that just kind of diffuses that just slightly so you don't look so crazy. Okay, let's blend out the top one more time. We will clean that up in a second, clean up that line. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat the same process on the other eye. So I will be right back. Okay, so the other eye is done. I'm gonna take a my makeup wipe. Wow, words, Megan. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean off those edges because I don't really like this whole like weird edge situation. So there you go. There's one edge. Usually fairly clean, but whatever. There we go. And then we're gonna come back to, actually that needs to be a little bit more, there we go. So we're gonna come back to the eyes in a second once we get the rest of this on. So I'm gonna take the Kiehl's Facial Fuel Eye Deep Puffer. I always use this before. I tend to find that if I don't, my my concealer gets a little bit um cake or like not cakey, but a little bit um crusty. So I just always use it. And then I'm gonna get pink off of my hand because we don't need we don't need pink anywhere else on my face. So I'm gonna take the NARS Radiance Primer and I'm gonna put that kind of in here, especially where my nose. Because I definitely get oily, but the problem is, is that it ends up becoming, my foundation does not sit right on my face. So I've learned that this is the only way to really kind of combat that. So anyway, we're gonna take the, this is like, again, my favorite foundation, my favorite, favorite, wow. Favorite foundation at the moment. I'm gonna take the Naked, Urban Decay Naked Skin, this is in 20NN. I really, really love this. And I'm gonna take my Tarte like paddle brush and I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and kind of like blend everything in so there's no harsh lines. But I tend to find, this is like what I've been like, this has been a combination I've been loving. However, I'm looking for new or new foundations because I definitely had some issues where Things are just like breaking up, especially on my nose, and it drove me nuts. I don't know what was happening or why it was happening, but oh well. Just kind of take it and use that. Again, I don't have a like this is like as big as my forehead, y'all. Like I have don't have big like there's a lot of space here, but there's not a lot of space up here, so it is what it is, y'all. And then blend that down and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender with kind of what's left on my hand still just kind of blend everything into my face push it all in I also find cleaning my beauty blender literally every day it's just like a part when I wet it I just like instead of just wetting it I also take my doctor I want to say it's dr. Brower Brown's water or something like that and I just clean it and then that helps a lot okay so that's pretty much the way I want it blended I look so crazy without concealer so I'm gonna take the na stay naked concealer this is in 10 and and that's what we're gonna use because I look a little bit crazy without having concealer on 
I love my shape tape, but I just find this one to be really good as well. Like, I have my shape tape. I also have my shape tape um, foundation here as well. I like that just as much. I just haven't used it in a while because it's a little bit too heavy for my liking during the fall. I like a very matte face during the fall, but because my skin is like being difficult and I haven't changed anything about my skincare, so I don't know what is exactly happening, but that's okay. That's annoying. So now I'm going to take, I have the Cody Airspun and I'm just going to set that real quick. On this side of my face, like just underneath my eyes. Okay. So I am actually going to. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. Normally I wouldn't set my entire face, but because I'm going to a concert, I want to make sure that everything's gonna like stay and remain on my face, you know. So I'm just gonna take, this is an up and up brush. I'm gonna take that and kind of like run that along. Again, normally I wouldn't do this much powder, but it works for what it needs to work for right now because I do have to, like, <laughs> I'm gonna be at a concert and we don't, we don't want makeup all over our face, people. That's just not a cute, that's not a cute style. Also, can we talk about the dog? She's laying up there, like <laughs> pillows. I love when she does that, but I also hate it because she gets my pillows all dirty. So I think I'm going to take this yellow ColourPop liner. I'm going to use that. Sorry, we're going to bring this in a little bit. Sorry if you can see it, but literally, I don't want to poke an eye out. I definitely don't always like um, doing the same type of like the halo light eye underneath my eyes either because I tend to find that makes my eyes look smaller. So I just actually take a... If I can find the brush I take kind of like a pointy brush from Morphe or like whatever you have and I run kind of I pick a color and roll with it but this one I'm going to be pink I think since I have the yellow liner um again like this is not a very fall look I got a lot of those coming but I wanted to kind of show you at least how I get ready for a concert so I'm going to take that shade sunset again and I'm going to roll that underneath. Kind of just add something, but it's not like super makes my eyes look small. So, we're now going to just, we're going to pop on some mascara right now. Because I do two different kinds of mascara. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, because... So I'm going to take the NARS Laguna. Actually, this is my brand new one because I just went through the other one. Um, this is one of my all-time... I feel like no one really talks about NARS Laguna anymore, but this is still one of my all-time favorite bronzers. I also really love the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Those are kind of my go-tos. But I wanted something a bit deeper than what I have currently in my drawer because it is fall, so I don't really love a whole bunch of like warm bronzers. I love the Fenty bronzer in indesun that's what i've been using a lot the other one i have in here is the hula light bronzer but i want to kind of warm this look up because it is a little bit more like not to say this pink it's yeah it's, it's, i don't know just they need it to tie it together because the look is so bright that like we need to kind of tone down the rest of my face I want to say this is a bronzer brush. I don't know. It might be a powder brush, though. It's quite old, actually. But I clean it, so it's fine. It still, wor it still works. I just like to blend everything in. So, for... Because I don't want to, like, have a lot of blush. Actually, you know what I'm going to take? I'm going to take the Luminoso brush. The Milani Luminoso. And that's what we're going to use. I actually swear to you... 
I had another, like I could have sworn I bought another one of these, yet I can't find it anywhere. So that's fun. We're going to take this little Mac one though. They work for what I need them to. I like, I prefer sibling brushes. I could have sworn I bought one. Oh well. When I go back up to Morphe, I'll buy another one because I really actually need another stippling brush. This actually might be the one I bought though. This is the one I bought, but okay. Just need another one. I want something a little bit more like coral toned for this look. That's all we're taking. This, okay. Now I'm gonna blend that out a little bit so it doesn't look super crazy. Just taking this Morphe BK26 brush. Do you like when I say the bl the brushes that I'm using or would you prefer me not to? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'm going to take a little bit of this Fenty bronzer. I'm going to contour my nose just slightly. Not a lot, but just ever so slightly. My nose is pretty wide, so I can just... There we go. Does that make even a difference? Like, does that even make a difference? Well, I guess it does, but let me do something about that craziness. Did I call it nose contour? There we go. Looks a little bit less crazy, but it evens out my face because otherwise, like, my nose looks very, um, wide. Okay. So now let's take highlighter. And we're going to be almost done with this look, but where is my highlighter brush? I'm going to take the Wet n Wild It's Lit highlighter. I feel like this, yep. You know the drill, people. It's one of my favorite highlighters. You don't even need to take a super, I just take, I'm, I'm just like brushing it on like there's no pressure applied there. Ever so slightly. I actually also want to take this and put this on my underneath my brow bone. I tend to do that with whatever highlighter I'm using that day because I tend to find that everything looks more cope aesthetic if I do that. Okay, so in a corner highlight, and then we can take more uh, mascara and fix that. Also, we need to kind of brush off dried mascara and moving it because no one likes mascara that looks like that. So, in a quarter highlighter. So, I normally would take Blue Dream, but I think that's a little bit too crazy. So, I think I'm going to take a little bit of Lightning and use a small brush. This is just the other end of an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. That and just use that. I think that ties in the we need to take our eyelash curler again. Also, I need to get a new eyelash curler, so that's why this is not working very well. But honestly, I just haven't I just haven't done it, y'all. Not to say that. Not to say that I can't, I just haven't. I'm going to take the Revlon So Fierce Mascara. This is like my go-to combo these days. We're just going to let that dry and we'll figure it out in a second. So now I need to figure out a lip color. So I've kind of removed all of my summer lippies from my drawer in here. So I'm trying to figure out. Actually, I forgot I have this shade. This is the one we're going to go with.
So we are going to take the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. We have like three setting sprays. Hold up. Okay. Love that. Take the locket. Let all that dry. And then I kind of just take this and spritz a little bit on my face so that it looks a little bit more dewy because I find otherwise I can look a little bit crazy. So... I don't love this spray because it's like very, can you see it? It's very aggressive. I don't, like, I don't like aggressive sprays, but let's do something with my hair. I like kind of like pinned it. I don't know. I just want to see if it'll like. All right, so that is the final look. Uh, I'm now going to finish getting, I'm going to eat, and then we're going to leave and go to the George West concert. I'm super excited. So, I will see you guys next time. I love you guys. Bye.